When I was in graduate school, uh, a geology student told me after coming here for a vacation, he said, John, you have to go visit the A.E. Seaman Mineral Museum. And literally, I looked at a map and I told him, it can't be worth it. But I was wrong. You know, I've been here almost 30 years now and it is an amazing place. There's nothing else like it in the world. This is the A.E. Seaman Mineral Museum. Since 1902, it has been a part of the Michigan Tech campus in Houghton, Michigan, and serves as one of the premier mineral museums in North America. The museum has been used for teaching, used for research, used for tourism, so it's a marvelous asset for the community and the university. The A.E. Seaman Mineral Museum is important to the Keweenaw because we are unique in that we preserve the mineral heritage of the region. This region was founded on the existence of minerals which were mined and the mining of minerals is why the people came to this region and we preserve those minerals for people to see what came out of those mines. We have a large piece of sheet copper from the white pine mine nearby. Uh, this area is notable for its native copper and because of that we have the finest collection of native copper in the world. We're also the official mineralogical museum of the state of Michigan. We have the world's best collection of minerals from the Lake Superior region, but also we have some top-class mineral specimens from around the world. In the museum, the exhibits are set up in intuitive ways designed to be informative and interesting for visitors of any level of knowledge, from the geological novice to the most well-seasoned rockhound. We're one of the few museums in existence that actually have exhibits that tell people how minerals form in nature. As we go down the exhibit hall here, on, on my left hand side over here, we have cool water, hot water, and magmas are the three ways that minerals form. We have a very unique exhibit wherein we have a holistic view of mining all the way from the process of discovering mines to mining to processing to finally enclosing a mine environmentally. The A.E. Seaman Mineral Museum is as much a science resource as it is an art gallery. But here, the featured artist is none other than Mother Nature herself. Well, truly, the copper crystals are amazing. And the complexity, and the variety, the artistic beauty. One thing that's a special part of this museum is this exhibit here, which is fluorescent minerals. Now, fluorescent minerals is a property of minerals, and it is basically one way we can identify minerals. The computer controls the lights turning on and off, and that also is just an awesome surprise for people to see. But this isn't the only surprise waiting for visitors. There is beauty to be seen outside as well. We also have a garden space populated with rocks, so people can go outside, get a little fresh air, and also learn more about minerals. In addition, we also have what's called the Copper Pavilion, and the Copper Pavilion has the world's largest piece of native copper ever recovered from the bottom lands of a lake. And that's a 19 ton chunk of native copper recovered from Great Sand Bay underneath Lake Superior between Eagle Harbor and Eagle River. Whether you are strolling through the garden or browsing through the beautiful specimens inside, a stop at the A.E. Seaman Mineral Museum is as relaxing as it is informative. When visitors come, they can probably expect to take about one to one and a half hours uh, to go through comfortably. It's quiet and it's spacious, and so you can take your time uh, to appreciate the things that are on exhibit at, at your own pace, and then have some time in the gift shop. We have a fabulous gift shop. You can take a souvenir back home, for which will probably become something that your friends and neighbors will see and say, where did you get that from? When I was just a young child, being able to get specimens for my collection helped develop my interest in both mineral collecting and then ultimately wanting to become a scientist. So actually, I don't discount the importance of, of our gift shop. So if you're in the mood for the spectacle, the educational, or the inspirational, the A.E. Seaman Mineral Museum will likely change the way you look at the world around you. Most people come in and say, okay, I'm not very excited about minerals, but as soon as they see this, they say, wow, and then intellectually, I have you hooked. You're interested now, and because you're interested, guess what? You might learn something. We want you to leave feeling that minerals are beautiful. There's that connection when they actually see the beauty of the minerals here. 
it, it takes your breath away and then you want to tell other people that is a hidden gem of the Keelinaw and it's something that you have to go see.